Hey everybody, welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I'm so excited that you're here today. Well, this video is going to be decorating my front yard and my front porch for Halloween. This is probably the thing I have looked most forward to since last year to do again because last year David and I, we decorated our yard pretty big. It was a lot of fun and since then I've been trying to think of new things to add to the yard to make it just a little bigger and better. So we do have a couple new items we're going to add, but we're also going to use all the fun things that we used last year. Now this video will not get done. Well, the video will, but the process of making the video will not all get done in one day. You're going to see us in different outfits, probably during the week after work, a little bit on the weekends. We're just going to kind of decorate as we have time and it'll probably be like a process of before it's all done so it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna we're gonna take our time we're not gonna rush we're gonna enjoy the season and enjoy the fun of decorating the yard so let's get started we're gonna start on the front porch I have a little bit of cleaning to do because lots of leaves have fallen and it's just kind of messy out there right there right now he wants to mow the yard one more time before we start working in the yard so I'm gonna start on the porch I went ahead and took down all of my fall decor on a different day because I figured this video was going to be pretty long as it was with all of the things that we're adding to the yard. But I'm sweeping up some leaves and um, the only reason that there are this many leaves here, because let me tell you, we are not in the type of climate that the leaves are starting to fall and you know all the beautiful leaves. This is from a Bradford pear tree that I have planted pretty close to my home and that tree I love it I love that tree it's very sentimental to me my mother bought it for me when we first bought this house she helped me plant it but that tree is a menace <laughs> it just it makes such a mess but I would not trade anything in the world for it um so it's staying. And what I'm going to do here first is we're going to take the same Hobby Lobby garland that I have on the inside of the house because it's really inexpensive. It's only $10.99 and then it's 40% off of that. And we're just going to use this to go around my door frame. I used those Amazon vinyl siding hooks that I use very often to put things around my sign behind the bench. And I don't know why I've never thought to use them before when hanging garlands out here, but it worked absolutely beautifully. It's holding up perfect. I didn't even have to tie strap anything down. It held the garland, it held the lights. It's just, it, they came in handy and I actually ordered another pack of them, um, which is why you'll notice that when I start to decorate behind the bench, I have to stop midway because I ran out of the, the little hooks. I had to wait until Thursday for Amazon to deliver to deliver more for me. For the size of my door, which I really can't imagine that it's an odd size from anybody else's home, it took four of those garlands. So all together, what would you say, 22, 20, like 25-ish, less than $30 to put all of this beautiful fall foliage up around my door. And at night when it's lit up, or I mean even during the day, it makes such an impact on my porch. Um, I added some pretty cool lights that I'll talk about later to level them up a little bit. Um, but it really makes a huge impact in this area. And I'm so glad that I, that I went back and got more. So Summer has discovered this site that Goodwill has, and it's sort of like a bidding site. And she went on there and she found a big lot of vintage blow mold lights. And she got pumpkins, skeletons, ghosts, so cool. It was, it was actually a lot, and uh, a lot of them. So what I did was I kind of did some surgery on them, and I 
took all the blow molds off the old plugs and I put them on a new set that it's just base it's just a set of white Christmas lights and then I just put a little bit of hot glue and that way I'm more confident in the electrical side of it and I wrap those beautiful blow mold lights around that garland and it just elevated it to such a such a nice level it was so pretty and like I said earlier at night it's just they're just beautiful up there it makes such an impact and I'm, I'm so glad she got those for me I've really enjoyed them I still have a couple sets that I'm needing to find a, a forever home for I have a set in the house and um I don't remember I, oh yeah the the set that the 12 foot skeleton is holding is vintage as well and that's outside so hopefully they will be okay outside i feel like um with just a couple of weeks with them being out there it should be okay and i can always bring them in if i need to um <clears throat> i just missed the whole part where i was hanging the pumpkins behind the bench as you saw i had to stop midway because i ran out of those hooks those vinyl hooks and then i did this last year and I really enjoyed it and I contemplated putting something different in the tree but the whole family David summer Lily everybody was like mm -mm, the pumpkins they have to come back up they were so cute everybody loved them so we just used the same ones from last year I had to do a little surgery on a few of them because the eyes or the mouth fell off I just took some black felt and hot glued it back down and repaired several of them that got damaged last year but they held up pretty good and the reason that I like these pumpkins for projects outside is because they don't take up a lot of storage room they just stack on top of each other and you can squeeze them in a bin and they don't take up much room at all and um, I did buy more this year though to go behind the the bench under the porch and I'm I'm fine I'm safe I was being very very careful don't worry after I came down from this one, I went inside and I had uh, Summer to come outside and just stand there with me and make sure that I wasn't um, by myself while doing this. I just didn't have that recorded. So the theme of my yard and porch is Hocus Pocus. I feel like sometimes people that have never watched the movie, and believe it or not, there are people who have never watched the movie, um, they don't know what in the heck I'm doing up here, what all these smelling children signs mean. <laughs> and then, like, I have this graveyard that's labeled uh, Ye Old Burial Hill, and it, it, my neighbors who don't know about that movie, they have to wonder. Um, you know, a skeleton they get, but certain references to the movie that I have out there, they're definitely probably scratching their head, but that's okay. Um, I will invite anybody to watch the movie. It's not scary. It's just a Disney movie, but it is my favorite, and I, that's the theme of my yard. It's kind of focused around that, that show. But the reason that I love it so much is because I have so many memories wrapped up in it with watching it with the girls. I've introduced it to Salem. She loves it now. Um, as a matter of fact, I will actually try to put a picture in here if I can find it. She and I and Summer dressed up like the, the three witches for Halloween a few years ago. And it is top 10 favorite core memories of my life and I will, I will always treasure us walking around the neighborhood dressed like the three witches and she just kept looking at me because I was you know I was in character I was Winnie and I was in character and the look on her face that Aunt Becky just made this the best Halloween in the world was more valuable to me than a million dollars I'm telling you it was, it was amazing but um that's the theme of my yard. What I was getting to when I got completely sidetracked was the pillows and the sign are from the movie Hocus Pocus. So Big Lots had a pretty cool sale this year. I don't think I've ever realized that they've done it before, but it was a Friday the 13th sale. And I think 
it was 50% off of all their Halloween, and this came way before anything was put on sale for in their store. So I went to Big Lots and I got all this lighting. I got some net lights, I got some string lights. So I was able to elevate the yard a lot more with the lighting this year, which I was really excited about. It was something, it was on the top priority for me to do this year is to be able to add lighting. I also was able to pick up more drop cords and things that I needed last year and you know to buy all that stuff at one time is expensive so I, I tried to pick up some here and there. I actually really lucked up because I found a penny sale at Dollar General. I don't know if you've ever heard of that but they had drop cords with three prongs in them for a penny and I bought every one they had and that was just by luck because I had no idea that you know the sale was going on for that it just I just happened to find them and I used all of those and I did end up having to buy a couple more but it wasn't all at one time is what I'm saying so I had lots of drop cords lots of lighting and all the things that I wanted to do to be able to elevate the display so these little skeletons here are very um, fragile they're not as good a quality as the ones that I have in the past that I got from Dollar General. These came from Five Below. They were only $5. Um, they were falling apart. I had to zip tie them back together, but they did, they served the purpose that hopefully they'll at least last a, a few seasons before they completely fall apart. And then my husband was so sweet to stop and get um, some base pills. Oh my goodness. Um, bales of hay <laughs> for me and um, we're having a discussion you can't hear us but we're having a discussion where I told him I wanted three and he only brought me two but he's adamant that I only told him two but that's okay two's enough we're good because <clears throat> I end up having to find a place to put these bales of hay when the season's over so that's fine and you're gonna see you're gonna see little leaves stuck all over the back of my shirt because the bushes that I had to kind of climb through to get all my drop cords to go through and hide as many as I could, those leaves will stick to me and stick to your clothing. So I pretty much walk around this video, this whole video with either a leaf stuck to my shirt or black paint smeared on my face. So, and, and I'm oblivious to all of it. So just overlook me in the mess that I'm in and just to try to look at the decorations and not my my messiness. Um, these are the nicer skeletons. Those are $10 a piece at Dollar General. I, I would get one a year and just kind of add to my collection, but they, they lasted, they've lasted a lot of years, but I just don't think these little $5 ones from Five Below are gonna last very long, or either I'm gonna have to zip tie all their limbs together. So um, what I'm doing here is the idea that I, was, I wanted to tell a story um, and it's kind of deviating from my theme of Hocus Pocus, but I wanted it to look like, have you ever seen those Christmas displays where they're hanging lights and then they just kind of give up and the lights are just hanging there? Um, I wanted it to look like the skeletons were trying to hang lights from the roof or on the side of the house and they just made a mess so I ended up you'll see it in a few minutes I added the lights on the left side of the house where they were hanging I wanted to add some to this little guy but I ran out of drop cords so maybe next year we'll do that and then these little this little eyeball set came from Timu and um, there were three in the set but I really didn't care for the other two they were just a little too scary for what I am going for in my yard but I did love those big purple eyes and um, I love making this bush look like a, a little monster. So hopefully these eyes will last um, longer than the ones I had last year. Last year I did some DIY eyes from some Dollar Tree products and they did, the, the rain got to them and they didn't last long at all. And those little hands come from the Dollar Tree. So <clears throat> we're getting ready to put the porch together here. And I have, that's, that's actually Flossie, dressed as David. <laughs> she's, she's pretending to be David for the, for the, all for the calls to, 
to decorate the porch. And then this is my new skeleton and I wanted to dress, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. This one hasn't been named yet, but this is to represent David and I. Um, I just thought it was so cute to have them sitting on the front porch, welcoming everybody, waving, <clears throat> saying, come on in, come hang out with us. We're having a good time. We're loving Halloween in this house. <laughs> And then these little pumpkins here I've had for years and years. I just stick lights in them and, and just pop them wherever. They're probably vintage at this point because I've had them for so many years. But aren't, aren't David and Becky skeletons so cute? I love them. So this little display is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, David and I made the little trick-or-treaters. I wish I could tell you how we made them. I, my friend is dying to have a set. She wants a set so bad. But I told her, I'm like, I don't know how I made them. It was kind of like a, a piecemeal type of situation. We just figured it out as we went. I do know that I went and bought the clothes from the Goodwill and the shoes and then you need a white sheet and a little felt for the eyes and then the buckets but they're just on they're made out of wood and we just stuck wood wherever you know it seemed to fit we actually we worked pretty hard on those those little skeletons to get them to look right um, so I don't know if we could ever actually duplicate them again, but, um, I'm kind of, I put the hay bales behind them so that they would kind of weigh them down because they are a little top heavy. And then that little guy right there, he was, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is doing this. I'm so sorry, but he was, um, another 50% off purchase from Big Lots when I went to go get the lights. The bottom part was $5, and I think the top, the pumpkin at the top was $5. Um, this little pumpkin here, I had to drill some holes in the back and run lights in there because he was battery operated, and I didn't want anything to be battery operated. I wanted everything to be plugged in from the porch. So I finally got my hooks in from Amazon and I'm able to finish my little display here. And um, it's easy peasy, just pop them in your vinyl. They don't do any damage to your vinyl at all. They will hold on to pretty much any kind of, anything I put up there it's held. Now, if it's windy during the spring, I have had to put a little zip tie on whatever I'm hanging to make sure that it doesn't fly off. But so far, they're hanging on pretty well out there, and um, it just adds a pop of fun and color to the porch. This is another five below skeleton that I got. Since he was kind of an oddball, he didn't match the others. I didn't quite know what to do with him, but I just thought he was the cutest thing. So I decided that I would stick him up on my trellis and just let him pop over and say hello to everybody. I decided that I wanted to have another monster bush out there, so I went to the Dollar Tree and I got these eyeballs. They're just made out of plastic. They were $1.25 each. I got two packs. I'm just taking my hot glue gun and barely touching the back of these plastic balls, and it just makes the perfect size hole to pop right over my lights. I didn't have to glue them or anything. They just popped perfectly, and they have not, not the first one has fallen off so far, and you can't really see what this is from a distance, but if you get up and walk around for the whole experience, you can see the little eyeballs in the tree, and it, it's just a, a nice little surprise, like, oh, they're eyeballs, <laughs> so I really enjoyed doing that and it was only two dollars and fifty cents now um this project was one that wasn't my idea i saw another youtuber doing this now she was doing it for the inside of her house so we're not sure if this is going to last outside very long but you, you know i bought a big cauldron for my hocus pocus witches and i needed a fire to go under the cauldron 
So I didn't want to do the whole spray foam thing because I wanted to get it all done. I saw this and thought that it was the perfect, quick, easy DIY to make some burning logs to go up underneath my cauldron. And um, you're gonna see the final product a little later, but basically what you do is you take a red pool noodle and you paint the pool noodle with black. Um, you're going to rip the noodle into four pieces. You don't want to cut it. You want to rip it because you want it to look like the ragged edges of a log. And then I took my Cricut tool and just kind of ripped it all the way down and pulled and made it look like, you know, the imperfections in a log. Once the black paint had dried, I went over it with a gray paint and supposedly you're supposed to do this with a dry brush but I found in my experience that adding more gray paint did more for it so I, I eventually stopped trying to dry brush it and I just put it on there and kind of wiped it down to the consistency that I wanted um, and then we'll come back to that in a minute because there's more to that DIY than just painting right now they're drying so these are from last year we're just putting them back up we did have quite a bit of trouble putting the girls back up because um, they were the stake was attached to them and to drive that stake down um, in the ground with them still attached which we were going to damage it plus there were all these light bulbs back there and everything so we had to do some surgery to get those into the ground and I told David I said if you'll just help me get the fence up I can hammer down you like my Thor hammer there that's that's the craziest hammer I've ever seen anyway I can hammer down the tombstones well that was that was hard I, now I know why he had such a hard time getting the witches in the ground because it was not easy to do <laughs> even with the Thor hammer it was it was quite the task so I went and got um, a little garden shovel and started a small hole in the ground to kind of help and um, yeah that's defeat right there <laughs> where's Thor when you need him um, I, I, I got the little shovel and started the hole and then it made it a little easier I'm so I'm so defeated <laughs> okay so here we go that's that's me trying to to do that and it worked out better um, and it was a lot easier it just kind of softened the ground up a little bit these are all from last year I made each and every one of these tombstones they were a lot of work and a lot of blood sweat and tears went into the DIY projects in this yard but it's all worth it because the joy that it brings me and it brings the kids it's you know it's worth every penny every minute every second of the time that it takes to do this Just to let you know, and for a good laugh, um, the next scene that you see will be me talking to you in person. And no, I did not know there was black paint smeared all over my face. I could not see it because it was so bright outside. I do find it shortly, but you're just gonna have to look at the paint smeared on my face for a short period of time. All right, we're getting close to getting this yard finished at this point. I wanna share something with you. Um, last year I did a project that I was really really proud of I did not share it I didn't film it because it was kind of a labor-intensive type project um, but I made a Billy Butcherson bus like from the bottom up to go beside the grave his tombstone and he I used that air dry clay from Hobby Lobby and he is so fragile and damaged so i'm not going to keep him out here i'll probably just bring him out i'm gonna let you see him and i'm gonna put him out for the video and then i'll probably bring him out for halloween but i'm not going to be able to display him out here because he is so fragile he actually cracked a lot last year throughout the year um in storage even though he was sit out 
where nobody would hit him or touch him. He just, it just disintegrated. And um, I'm just heartbroken. I might try to make another one one day, but I put a lot of work into him. And I'll show him to you real quick. Here's what he looks like. I made his clothes. I made his face. I sculpted his face. Everything. Everything is DIY'd here. And I was so proud of him. Here's his little ponytail. I just hate like everything that that he fell apart. But you can see around his neck that he's just kind of cracking and disintegrating. It's right around here. I did try to glue him back as best I could, but I'm gonna leave him in for the video and then he'll go back into a, a safe spot and until I can maybe redo his face or something. But I think what it was is the clay wouldn't stick to the styrofoam head. It's just one of those wig, wig heads. And then I'll show you what he looks like. So there's how he looks. And he's so sweet. He's, he's a good zombie. If you haven't seen Hocus Pocus, which is the theme of my yard is Hocus Pocus. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, it's just a Disney movie. It's not scary. It's not anything like that. Um, so it's my favorite movie. <laughs> and we got our girls up. I got to figure out a way to run some cords to light them up. Um, I got a few more things that I want to do and I'm just gonna put you back to music and finish them up. But honestly, the lighting is the hardest thing for me anyway. Um, the lighting and a couple little touches is really all I have left to do and we're gonna call it done. And I think this is a gracious plenty and it turned out beautiful and I love it and I'm excited about it and I can't wait to get it all lit up and share everything. But I'm just gonna add a couple little more things um, get my lighting figured out and then we'll be done. I had hung up these bulb light lights. They're just little plastic brown bulbs on them. I had hung those up first and then I realized that I wanted to tell the story about the skeletons hanging lights and then falling off the roof. So I switched them out because they weren't quite long enough for just a regular orange strand of light. Um, that I got from Big Lots when they were on sale. So what I'm doing is just kind of tucking them into the plastic edging of my um, vinyl siding. And I honestly didn't even have to secure it because they just popped right in and then just finished up the strand by wrapping it around the skeleton. I had one extra pumpkin left and I'll tell you in a minute what the story is behind this. But I wanted to find a good spot for my cute little pumpkin. So I put him, I just tie strapped him to his hand. And then um, the lights that I told you about earlier that Summer had ordered from Goodwill, these were in there. And you probably saw these when I did my skeleton DIY. But all I'm doing is just tie strapping them to his hands. I believe this set this little set wasn't really that old so I just secured it with a little hot glue to make sure they didn't fall off and I used the same actual electrical light that it came with and then I just had to run a little drop cord to to make it light up um, all of those blow mold lighting pieces had to be just secured with a little bit of hot glue because some of them were popping off and they were just driving me crazy so it, it, for my own sake and sanity I put the hot glue on there and hopefully if I ever have to change out the the electrical cord it won't be it won't be too hard so we're back to our DIY for making the the logs underneath the cauldron and all I'm doing is I'm taking a short strand of orange lights and I, I had to instead of tucking them into the pool noodle which would have driven me crazy I just cut a long line down the middle and just laid them in there and closed them back they're perfectly secure and they're not going anywhere there was extra lights so they'll just kind of lay around to give it a little bit more glow to the area, to the actual uh, fire pit area that we're decorating. I went out back and I got some 
random sticks and stems that had fallen from the trees in the backyard and I made a little makeshift fire pit and then I'm going to add the pool noodles to this so it just makes more of an impact. Um, the pool noodles, since they're much lighter, what I did was I took a plastic skewer and just kind of went through the pool noodle right straight down into the ground to kind of hold them in place and that worked out pretty well actually um i didn't i didn't have any i haven't I haven't seen it move at all they pretty much stayed exactly where i left them and then i just wrapped the excess of those lights in there and it lights up so cute um, at night and you'll see over there on the right hand side my little cauldron that david made for me well my cauldron stand that he made for me um, it's already painted. I must have got my footage mixed up, but I just um, spray painted that black so that it would all match. And I haven't, I would like to get a, like a, a misting fog machine type thing to go in there for Halloween night. If I can run across one at a good price, I might add that in. I do have a battery operated light. But because it's battery operated, I have yet to go out there and turn it on. So it was kind of a waste. Um, because I plug everything in from under the porch and I come back in the house and I never think about that light. Which is why I didn't want anything to be battery powered. I wanted it all to be electrical. So that's something I guess if we don't get to this year, we'll get to next year is making our cauldron bubble. I guess I must have completely forgotten to record painting the tripod because I thought I had footage of it but apparently I don't that's me getting the the um, paint off the ground um this is just a plastic bowl that I was using to elevate that light a little bit but next year we're definitely going to step it up on our cauldron Okay, so we're gonna do a daytime walkthrough of the yard. I've got everything done pretty much. I don't think I've got anything in my mind right now to add. Um, we're gonna start, we had this up last year and I really enjoyed how it looked in front of this little fall tree. David and I made these little trick-or-treaters last year. I can't tell you how I made them. We just kind of pieced them together with whatever we could find in our scrap lumber pile. Um, I am going to be getting two more mums that we ordered from one of the kids from school for the fundraisers. So I'll be putting probably one there and one there. So I'll, for now I put the two that I've already gotten over here. But that's the first thing that we have. And then like I said earlier, I have a Hocus Pocus themed yard. So this is the graveyard from Hocus Pocus. Ye old Burial Hill in Salem, Mass. And I just stuck a couple of mums over here. If y'all hear my shoes, well, if you hear something, a noise that sounds inappropriate, it's my shoes squeaking. They, they're making squeaky noises when I, when I walk. So if you hear that, it's my shoes, I promise. All right, so this is my little cemetery from the movie Hocus Pocus. It's got all the main characters in here, the, um, the three witches. Billy Butcherson, Emily Binks, and Thackeray Binks. So David and I made everything in here by hand. And then we also made these beautiful girls here. Everything here is made by hand, even down to the logs. Um, I do have a light in there. So I'm hoping to be able, I hope that it's gonna show up at night. I need to make it just a little higher and closer to the top, I think, but. Um, I did drill some holes in the bottom of that so that if it rains, the water won't um, puddle up in the bottom of the cauldron. But when these light up, it's just, it's just magical. I can't even tell you, it's just magical. All right, let's go behind these girls. I'm a little sad that you can't see all my little spiders. I might have to move them um, to a different spot so you can see them, but the spiders I put up last year, and they're just these little cheap fuzzy ones that you can get from Dollar Tree or from Timu or something like that. They're, they're really inexpensive. I'm sure you could order them on Amazon. And then I added some skeletons hanging from the roof this year. Um, I wanted it to look like they were hanging lights, kind of like in the Christmas displays. So I started the lights over here, came up, over here and then I had them kind of hanging. I thought it would kind of tell a story 
you know, like they were hanging lights, they got started falling. I wanted some lights over there to hang from him, but I don't have enough drop cords for all that. I, I had to stop myself at some point. I put lights in all the bushes because um, Big Lots had a 50% off sale on Friday the 13th. So I went up there and got a lot of lights, really inexpensive um, several weeks ago. And then this little guy right here, I did him, I showed you, I showed him to you in my haul. He came from, um, Michael's, not Michael's, um, Joanne's, Joanne's. I made this several years ago. I put it out every year. Um, I just, you know, I always decorate around my little sign. So I just use the same type of pumpkins that I used from my tree and the reason that I like these pumpkins is because they're easily stored. They're, they're, oh my goodness, I can't even talk. They're easy to store. They lay flat and um, they're just, they don't take up a lot of room. And then I just put the same pillowcases from last year. I did put this garland around the door and Summer got a big package of blow mold lights. There were pumpkins, there were skeletons, there were ghosts. Um, that little happy Halloween sign that you're going to see in a few minutes. Um, it was all in a big package and these are some of the blow mold ghosts, I mean pumpkins. And I just think they are so cute mixed in with the garland. I love it. And my sister made the wreath. And then that sign over there I've had for years and years, it came from Ross several years ago. And then there's David and Becky. And I have to tell you guys, these, these, <laughs> these two sitting on my porch have scared me, David and Summer. Um, because we, when you walk in the living room, all you can see is the back of Becky's head. And it's like, who is sitting on my porch? And I forget about them every single time. So yeah, but, <laughs> I just love the way they look, like they're waving from the porch, like, hey, welcome to our house, you know, I just think it's so cute. And then, um, this little monster here, monster bush, I think it's cute. I like the I Smell Children sign right beside it, and the little hands coming out with the, um, little claws holding onto the lights, I think it's cute. I did not know where to put that little orange skeleton man so I just propped him right up there and I think he's adorable up there and then I put my little birds in my bird bath I've had those for years they sell them at the Dollar Tree and then let me back up I'm gonna show you my tree now the tree again I wanted to tell a story so I always like to well it's only my second year but I enjoyed it last year I liked having the pumpkins in the tree and then a friend of mine commented on him because I had a picture in, on Facebook. And uh, he said, looks like your pumpkin tree is doing well this year. And I said, yeah, it's popping up pumpkins left and right. And I thought, well, you know what? Let's make the little skeleton guys look like they're picking pumpkins from the tree. <laughs> or, or we can make it that they're decorating the tree, however you want to, however you want to do that. And then here's my little eyeball bush. Um, Dollar Tree eyeballs and I just put a hole in the back of them with a hot glue gun and just stuck them on my regular lights. This is a birthday gift to myself this year. I got that from Ross and I just stuck some lights in there because I did not want a battery operated anything out here. All right, and then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna show you the big guy. Let me get situated here. Here he is. In the flesh or not we have not named him yet but we worked so hard on him and I mean so hard <laughs> it was a job you guys I'm telling you but it was worth it because he's just glorious he's amazing you can see him from the end of the road coming into the neighborhood <laughs> I can't wait for the kids to see him I just can't but that's everything that is that is our 2024 Halloween yard extravaganza. I think it turned out great. As soon as I get the mums, that'll be complete and it's perfect. I love it. So that is all that I have for you for today. I just, I just realized I've got black paint. I've got, 
I can't talk today. I'm telling y'all, I'm so excited. Everything wants to come out my mouth at one time and it's all getting jumbled up. <laughs> I'm, I'm just excited to have my yard decorated, but I've got black paint all over my face. I just realized that I'm sorry. It, 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 what are you going to do? Thank you guys for taking a few minutes of your day to spend with me and decorate my yard with me. It is so much fun to hang out with you guys. I appreciate it. Um, I will go out there and do a nighttime reveal and I'll put it at the end of this video. So just hang tight a little bit longer and you'll be able to see what it looks like at night. I'm also going to do a full house tour at some point um, with the yard and the house all lit up and it's going to be really cool but i'm not quite ready to do that yet but it's coming um but that's all that i have until next time i love you all and i'll see you later bye